brought Mr. Bunyan to give us uh, uh, his life saving uh, to establish this lecture series. And um, this uh, lecture series started uh, uh, almost 30 years ago. We have missed it only once or twice. This is the 28th annual one. Mr. Bunyan was a longtime employee of uh, Stanford University. And he, toward the end of his life, uh, was wondering what to do with his life savings. And he spoke to Professor Bracefeld. And uh, after um, looking at other possibilities, he eventually came back and decided to uh, leave uh, his modest saving to astronomy program, primarily to run this lecture series. And in addition to lecture series, this uh, um, Bunyan Fund has been helpful to uh, run our student observatory on the hills and also our research uh, telescope, Hobby Everly Telescope, a 10 meter class telescope that will be a member of the consortium for many years. Most uh, prominent in Mr. Bunyan's uh, mind was really established as of this lecture series. And his idea was to have, uh, to bring to general audience uh, the latest founding in uh, uh, many astrophysical and cosmological areas. In particular, he wanted to have a renowned scholar to talk about and, uh, and quote some of the things he said to bring the, the general audience uh, ideas of the workings of the cosmos, the galaxies, stars, and planets, as well as the dawn of life. In other words, he was interested in the two main questions of humanity, something which is probably everybody else's mind here, namely the origin of the universe and the origin of life. And uh, as you know for, from the title already, that uh, our uh, lecture today is going to be very appropriate and addressing that uh, uh, second part. Um, and uh, you probably also know that uh, in recent years there has been real explosion uh, or exponential growth of finding new extra solar planet which we call exoplanet, a lot of X's in here. And, um, Kepler, the mission has been uh, leading this in recent years and been in the news a lot. As a result of this, our speaker today, uh, Professor um, Natalie uh, but, <laughs> but, uh, Batalia has, uh, 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 has been the um, sought out uh, lecturer. And uh, um, so we are very grateful that she has taken time from her busy schedule to give us uh, the Bunyan Lecture today. Professor uh, Battaglia has uh, received her BS from UC Berkeley and uh, PhD from UC Santa Cruz. And she then joined the later on uh, um, Ames Research Center and uh, was a co-I of the Kepler mission starting 2001. So you can see she hasn't moved very far in from Bay Area. I think she was even born in the Bay Area in Danville, apparently. Uh, and then uh, she joined the faculty of San Jose State uh, in 2002. And um, last year, he was appointed as the deputy science leader of the Kepler team. Uh, as I said, she is sort of the lecturer. And uh, the number of lectures are too many to uh, enumerate here has been many, and she's been very uh, giving lectures all over the country and in, um, in the Bay Area. And in addition, she has uh, uh, has appeared in the public media. Uh, she has appeared in uh, CNN, ABC, and most recently, um, uh, she's been featured in National Geographic. I think it's the she issue hasn't come out yet. It will be published uh, soon. Um, she was busy. Uh, with that uh, when we are talking about her giving the lecture here. She has more than uh, 25 publications and that list is really growing as we speak because of the success of the Kepler. So once again, it gives me great pleasure to invite Professor uh, uh, Natalie uh, Patlaha to give us the uh, 28th Banyan lecture. Boots on. Is it too high? 
Is that better? Mm -hmm. Okay.